Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to another Beekeeping Basics. Today I'm just going to run through a video that I produced yesterday when we were out uh, collecting a sample of bees. Now the bees are required because I want to check for the Akron mite and Nosema and I'll be putting together some videos that will follow in the microscopy series which comes out on a Friday evening and it's important really from my perspective that my bees are as healthy as possible and uh, in order to make sure of that I like to check the bees for both acarin and nosema through the winter months. That then allows me to identify colonies that might be struggling a little bit and then I know that I need to take some action with those. In terms of the acarin mite uh, we seem to have far fewer of those these days and I suspect it's as a result of the treatments that we use for Varroa I think they also have an effect on the acarin mite so I don't see many acarin mites and I would only test for acarin if I had bees that were crawling around the front entrance of the beehive in a lethargic manner they weren't flying and there were bees that were dead in a pile outside of the hive it's quite a labour intensive test to do and takes quite a while but if you do have bees that you think have got acarin then it's always worth um, having somebody perform a test on them if you can't do it yourself and the nosema test uh, is a much more straightforward test uh, but we still need to take a sample of bees and although we have to kill bees in order to perform these tests I think that it's important enough that uh, I sacrifice a sample from each colony in the winter to be able to perform uh, these vital tests uh, from my perspective. So we need 30 bees from the colony and what follows is the video from yesterday that we recorded to show you how we take the sample of bees. You'll find uh, that we use uh, a product called ethyl acetate and that kills the bees humanely and quickly. Uh, alternatively if you've only got one or two hives at the bottom of your garden you could take the sample of bees and then pop them in the freezer. So here's the video, uh, I hope you enjoy it and uh, don't forget to check up on Friday when we start doing the tests. One final thing to add is that you need to try to collect older bees so those are the bees that generally you'd find flying out of the hive. If the bees are not flying then taking the bees from the crime board where you're going to have older bees that will come up from the outside of the cluster is perfectly acceptable uh, but you don't want to break open the cluster and take bees from a more central position because Firstly, it will chill the colony, and secondly, they're likely to be younger nurse bees. Uh, it's the older bees, when you're taking a sample, that are most likely to be affected by acarin and nosema. We need 30 bees from each colony, and uh, we use a little self-seal bag. Uh, inside this we've got a piece of kitchen paper, and then in order to kill the bees effectively and quickly, we use ethyl acetate and uh, we put about three or four mils using a syringe into the bag so that it's soaked up on the paper and then when we put the bees in they pretty much die immediately. If you've only got one or two hives at the bottom of your back garden then you could still use the poly bag to collect them, you could use a match box, uh, any kind of container really, uh, something that you can get the bees in and then seal it so that they can't get out. And then if you pop it in the freezer, it, that will effectively kill them uh, humanely as well. So we're going to pop over to the hives and uh, start filling up some of these bags. On the bag, we've put the date, the apiary identifier, and then when we open up the hive, we'll put the hive number on it as well so we can keep track of which samples come from where. And uh, then they'll be ready for the acarin and nosema tests. So we've got our bag and we're just going to put um, about three or four mils of ethyl acetate into the, the bag, onto the tissue. And allow that to soak in, we'll just zip that up. We've got the date, the apiary identifier, and this is a nuke which has got the number 22. So we're going to take the top off and uh, take a sample of bees. 
Okay, so you literally just pick up the bees one at a time and throw them into the bag. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, that's our sample of bees, and as you can see, the bees are already dead. So it works really quickly. It's very humane, and we can now take these away and do our tests on them. Okay, so that's it. On Friday, we'll be carrying out the first acarin test, and then the following week we'll be doing the Nosema tests. If you haven't already subscribed, then please do hit the subscribe button. Uh, we have a growing community and lots of questions that are popping up. Please do hit the like button and share the video if you'd be so kind. And we'll catch up in the next video. Thanks for watching.